Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Given its propensity to vote in conservative representatives, Lethbridge is known as a conservative stronghold, but it actually has a significant labor history going back over a century. In the late 19th century, for example, the United Western Federation of Miners had a local in Lethbridge, one of only four unions in the province at the time. The union lasted only a few years, but the Western Federation of Miners came to Lethbridge in 1899 from Montana to help organize against wage cuts. They also advocated for eight-hour workday legislation which ended up passing and applied to all of the Northwest Territories. Alberta didn't exist as a province yet. In 1905, local labor councils were formed in Lethbridge and Medicine Hat. Also in that year, workers held strikes in southern Alberta, including Lethbridge, so that their recent membership with the United Mine Workers would be recognized by their employers. In February 1906, 363 Lethbridge miners joined United Mine Workers of America. The union submitted a contract to the Alberta Railway and Irrigation Company, one of the Gulf companies. Yes, those Gulfs. The company refused their demands. Where have we heard this before? When the company also refused the union's recommendation for arbitration, the workers went on strike, only a month after joining the union. The strike lasted until the end of the year and included workers in surrounding communities. The company hired scabs but never saw the same production output that they had with the unionized workers. After much pressure from politicians, the two sides eventually made concessions. The workers received some benefits, a wage increase, and the right to collective bargaining. Even so, the company continued to ignore the union and workers staged additional work stoppages in 1909, 1911, 1919, 1922, 1923, and 1924 in an effort to fight for their rights. Each of those strikes lasted for months, some as long as eight months. The 1906 UMWA strike had far-reaching effects throughout Alberta and Canada. It led directly to the Federal Industrial Disputes Investigation Act in 1907 and the Provincial Workmen's Compensation Act in 1907, as well as a legislated eight-hour workday in 1909. It also led to amendments in the Coal Mine Act. Did you know that the Alberta Federation Labour started in Lethbridge? In a 1912 convention in Lethbridge, chaired by local miner and independent labour MLA Donald McNabb, 34 delegates from unions and the United Farmers of Alberta joined forces to form the Alberta Federation of Labour, which focused on protecting working conditions and improving salaries and benefits for workers throughout Alberta. Today, there are over 20 unions in Lethbridge, some of which are part of the Lethbridge and District Labour Council, which has operated in Lethbridge for decades and belongs to the Canadian Labour Council. Lethbridge has is not only a long labor history, but a history that includes work actions that made a difference to the broader labor movement and workers who were willing to take a stand. It seems as though the aggressive, proactive, confident labor actions of the past have been forgotten. Certainly, it's not reflected in the government representatives elected in our riding. Obviously, conservative governments don't care about labor needs. Liberal governments aren't any better when it comes to labor. We spent decades watching voters cycle between liberals and conservatives, and it's not working. Both parties care only for owners, not for labor. Maybe it's time to change that. Maybe it's time to remind people of the importance of organized labor in Lethbridge. Maybe it's time we remind everyone that Lethbridge was built on the backs of organized labor. Maybe it's time we finally put aside spats from the past, come together, and get behind candidates who have labor interests at heart. Thanks for watching. You can follow me online at seaver.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share here on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation, either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.